going to introduce a very brave woman. Her name is uh, Ravni Hilde. <coughs> she made uh, uh, a very successful book some years ago called There Is No Death. Uh, and now she's going to talk about something which is uh, a secret and dark world for many of us, which is uh, uh, the uh, issues of mind control and non little weapons, which uh, uh, is being used in secret all over the world. So please, Ramni, uh, tell, tell the world things that you want them to know. Well, there are a lot of things I want the world to know. Uh, the very first one is that there is no death, because it all comes to the question, what is a human being? The human being is mostly physically water. 87% of our brain is water, 70% of our, of our body is water. What holds it together is energy, of course, and energy, according to Einstein, only changes form, so it cannot die. That's number one. And because we are energy beings, so it's very easy to understand that uh, we can be influenced by other energies from outside. And our energy can influence other people. So I've been writing about parapsychology that researched the paranormal, which cannot be always explained by the laws of, uh, of today as we know them. But one part of parapsychology, of course, is telepathy, clairvoyance, contact with the energy of the dead. And that's very, very important. Majority of the people in the whole world have parapsychological contacts, but they're so afraid because of ridicule that they don't talk about it. 67% of people in the world that have paranormal experiences, and that, I think, should be very, very important. I was just um, coming home to Norway. I'm a Finn, but I've lived here for 16 years. I was married to a know which a diplomat deceased now and I just stayed because it's, it's too much to, to move from one country to another and I was in, in Germany and came home three days ago and that was a congress on non-lethal weapons and um, it was military it was police it was um, uh, scientists from all over the world well actually not all over it was 20 nations and I was so surprised that nobody showed up officially from Norway but there was a Norwegian because a Swedish military person talked to the Norwegian, but he was not enlisted. And it was very interesting that they were supposed to have a poster presentation in this conference. And it was about the use of pepper, sp pepper sp spray. Why was it cancelled? Developing and evaluating impulse crowd and riot control systems, pepper spray bolt on nodule, to meet some of the challenges in peacekeeping operations. Why was it cancelled? I don't know. But um, anyway, when we come to the question of mind control, I would like to start with the words of the FBI, FBI former director, Edgar Hoover. He said, the individual is handicapped by coming to face to face with conspiracy so monstrous he cannot believe it exists. And this is the question of mind control, done with non-lethal weapons, which are lethal. So the word is totally, totally incorrect. And already in 1913, President Woodrow Wilson said, some of the biggest men in the U.S. in the field of commerce and manufacture are afraid of something. They know that there is a power somewhere so organized, so subtle, so watchful, so interlocked, so complete, so pervasive, that they better not speak about their breath when they speak in condemnation of it. So uh, these uh, words were said uh, quite some decades ago, and according to your sources, uh, these forces are uh, still doing their things uh, hidden from the public view? Absolutely. There was a very good presentation in, in this conference um, in, in Germany, it was the fifth one on non-lethal weapons. And it was a, an American colonel who said, who are they? When all the time one, one says, well, they do this, and they harass me, and they sabotage, and they terrorize. So who are they? And he had a presentation of it. And there was a picture in the middle, New World Order. On the other side, there was a, a, a sign with the Star of David, Illuminati. Then there was CIA and FBI, 
and uh, then also the, the British uh, intelligence. So they are them who are behind it. Have been always and probably always will. So these are uh, government agencies like the CIA, which officially has as the purpose to uh, defend the uh, American citizens and maybe the citizens of the world. So it might seem that they are some, somehow uh, abusing their power, uh, uh, turning uh, against the, um, the interests of the, their own people. You know, that's quite correct. I was always thinking when I was younger that police and, and the military are for the people. Now I know that part of them, not all, part of them are still for the people, helping people, defending their country. But uh, 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 a big part of them are working against the people. And they are doing it with field experimentations because they have new weapons of mass destructions, which have been going on for over 30 years officially, because in 1975, already at the UN, the Russian delegation, it was Andrei Gromyko, who was at that time the foreign minister, asked that these new weapons of mass destruction, which are horrible, you cannot detect them, you cannot see them, radio waves, uh, microwaves, uh, lasers, etc., they destroy our brain, our health, our environment, etc. So he was asking that the UN would decide that these would be abandoned totally. He got a good response from many, but the US was opposing, claiming that since 1948 there had been no new weapons of mass destruction, so the question is out of the question. And this is crazy, because the US is the leader in the world of, of new, uh, these non lethal new weapons. And the danger is that um, they can take over anybody today. Anybody. They used to experiment with, uh, with um, the people in the prisons, prisoners. They used to experiment with mental patients. They still do that. So that but is uh, uh, without their consent? Absolutely people without are, their consent. Uh, it's criminal. It's yeah. totally, totally criminal. And now they take anybody, just anybody, but especially single women, because they don't have protection of the family. You know, if a single woman vanishes, so it takes some time before somebody finds out. If a, a married woman vanishes, the same day the family cries. So it's single women, it's people who know their bad deeds, it's people, scientists especially, who are involved and find out too much. They all of a sudden have a heart attack or a brain tumor or, or, or a stroke or whatever. Or they are driven over by a car or they even go down in a, in a flight accident with hundreds of other people.